Jim Bug, Black Shoes Camper, Southern California, out of the city of industry, and welcome to Tech Tips. Today, I'm going to give you an inside look of the interior tour of an HQ17. So let's get into this, let's get looking. All right, so for the start of my tour, I'm going to start off at the door, the entry area. So you can see we have, um, you know, we have our screen right there, our aluminum screen that goes all the way down, covers everything. We have our switches right there. Um, and so we have our uh, switch for our step, our backlight. Um, and the third switch, the third little switch, I'm going to move in right here. There is a third button right there that will also turn on the speakers to the outside. So the, uh, the back button there would turn that on. And then, of course, we have our inverter switch, our satellite switch there. And, of course, we always got to have our safety equipment in place. We have our extinguishers. And so, like always, we have the very big, very queen-sized uh, bed right here in the front. Um, the, uh, it is a tensile bed. Um, so it's a very soft, very comfortable bed. Um, it's very soft. You know, I'm even going to push on it and show you. Oh, it's nice. It's comfortable. It's soft. It's squishy. It's almost kind of like a, a memory foam. Um, but it is a 10 cell um, uh, brand uh, mattress. So as we look, we have our closets to the side of the bed. We have our reading lights as always. And as well as our very nice, very plush headboard. It's very nice. It's soft. It's cushiony. It's a really nice headboard that's up in there. Um, and then, of course, we have our windows. We have our, have our, our nightshade down, so that way it's not too bright in here with the sun, um, as well as our bug screens there at the bottom, like always. Um, and then we have cabinets. we got some cabinets to the sides, uh, cabinet over there. Um, we have our TV. Um, and so let me flip around here. And so we're getting away from our DVD TVs, and we're moving into smart TVs. Um, so that is a, a really nice feature we're moving into with our entertainment areas. Um, here is our kitchen. And if you notice, the cabinet is actually a little bit bigger now. We've increased the size of our cabinet. Um, we've changed up our kitchen. Be sure to check out our tech tip video on our kitchen. Um, again, it's a brand new sink and stove. Um, a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, and a little bit deeper as well, um, you know, with the faucet that lifts up. So it's a really nice feature. And again, make sure you look up the tech tip on the kitchen for this unit. And of course, we have our drinking water spigot for our filtered water. Um, you know, we have two cabinets here. Now, I only have some of the cabinets open. I didn't open them all. Um, you know, like this is a cabinet right here. I just have it closed. I have a few things in there, and then we have these up. And I open them up just so that way you can see these are cabinets. Um, you know, I don't want people to be confused and go, oh, well, there's no cabinets. Yes, there is. There's lots of cabinets, plenty of cabinetry throughout the unit. Um, and I just want to make sure that I show that to you and see, uh, see that. Um, we have our full-size refrigerator. Um, we have a fridge freezer. Um, I'll show this, open this up, show you our space. We got an ample amount of space. Um, you're not taking it all with you, but you're taking quite a bit of it with you um, when you're out there camping. Um, and then of course, this will also operate off of uh, electricity and um, your propane gas as well. Um, we have our microwave. Okay, small little microwave up in here. Um, maybe heat up a few things. Obviously, you're gonna run your inverter to do that. And then we've changed the door on our HQ17. And we've gone to a single glass door. Let me open this up here for you. And so uh, it's a frosted glass door, obviously, as you can see. Um, the bathroom, um, obviously, still a very nice bathroom with a single uh, shower pan. Um, so that way it covers the whole thing. And so there we go. There's our sink and our faucet. Hey, there I am. And uh, so the shower head, um, your sink, this also doubles as your shower head as well. Um, your light and your fan and stuff. Um, and then when you get back here, we have our bunk beds. Now, again, the HQ17 is our bunk bed model. It will sleep five people, two people up in the queen. And then you have uh, one person up here and you'll have one person down here. And then you can fit one person over here as well. Um, and this, the nice part is you can fit, by the time you set this up, you can get someone who's about six foot tall to fit in this dinette bed area. It's not a small bed area. Um, but so we come up in here and we'll just look. And the, as you kind of notice, one and two windows. So each dinette, or excuse me, not dinette, each bunk has their own bed area, their own window. They got their own reading light. 
Um, and so you will notice we have eliminated the DVD player. Um, again, we removed that from our accessories list. Why are you out camping, enjoying nature in a beautiful boondocking area, and you're going to allow your kids to spend all of their time watching a DVD, watching TV, rather than enjoying the nature that you're out there trying to show them um, and allow them to experience. Um, and again, it doesn't make for very good memories. You know, all your pictures are going to be in the bunk beds. Now, it is a nice, beautiful bunk area with a beautiful wood grain. I will give you that. Um, but obviously, nature's going to give you a way better view and a way better show than the inside of one of our Black Series campers. But while you are in it, you can enjoy some of the very nice luxuries that we are affording to you. Um, we also have our nice, this is our gray leather. Um, and again, um, make sure you check out um, my Tech Tips video on the seat coverings. This is leather. Um, it is very thick, very durable, very soft leather. Um, there's a big pillow inside of it. And again, check out the tech tips on the materials. Um, and again, here's our cabinets. So again, I just want to show you the cabinets, what they look like with our hinges. We got some new hinges on here. Um, you can see, uh, kind of show you how it flexes. Look, look, look. <laughs> um, you just kind of push it up and help just lock it right in place. Um, and then when you're done with it, you just push it down, click it in place. And so again, these clips right here, it's going to attach with this and so you just push and it locks so that's locked you push again it opens it up it just as releases um and then another one right here so and again this is a cabinet um i just had to close out a few things in here um, but it just opens up but just to give you a, a quick little look this way there we go you can see that um, but again we have this beautiful wood grain interior um, and the wood it's a malacca wood and malacca wood is um, a bamboo based wood and so that's what we've gone over to and so it's got this really kind of nice grainy feel to it it's really nice it's got a very nice look it's very tough it's very durable um, but it's also lightweight and so it allows for us to use lighter weight materials because we have such heavy weight materials to make our frame and stuff and then of course like I said this makes the bed obviously it's our table um, to make it into a bed you lift this you lift it completely ah trying to do it one-handed and then you just push down and it's just kind of like a hydraulic office chair uh, when you push it down and then to bring it back up you just lift it up releases the hydraulics and allows it to bring up now i already did kind of show you a little bit the push buttons uh down below um, but here's are the, these are the other ones and just like um, our click buttons, these are our touchless buttons, or not touchless buttons, these are our wireless touch buttons. Um, so obviously this is the main one, shuts the power off. Um, this is lights, lights, and lights. And then this one shuts on, or turns on, turns off the floodlights outside, okay? So now these are touch, or not touchless, I keep wanting to say touchless. These are wireless. Um, so to take it off, you would want to pry it, um, or pull, I should say. You would pull from the bottom, okay and it pulls off and so again it's wireless so you can kind of take this wherever you need to and then you just put it hook it back on the top if you need to replace the battery oops i missed the little lip there there we go and you just click it back in place okay and so that's our new lighting system and then as always we have our panel up here with our breakers um, and our water readouts our water pump stuff um, our gauges um, I'm going to flip around already here. I'm going to come over one more place and show you the underneath here. And so everything's kind of laid out really well. Um, we have um, all of our hoses. And as you can see right here, we're starting to put insulation on our hoses. So you see the red is the hot hose. Blue is the cold hose. Um, so we're trying to, um, or we're not trying to, we are working on improving our um, our R rating, our factors, so that way when we get into colder temperatures, um, we're trying to eliminate some of the, or any of the issues that may occur with freezing temperatures. Um, and then we have a new filtration system. The, the tubes are actually clear now, so you can see inside of them. Um, so you can see visually what your filters look like. Um, and you go, oh, I need to change it, or, you know, nope, I'm still good, whatever it is. Obviously, it's going to be based off of your use, um, you know, what your filters are looking like, how often you're using it, all that fun stuff. This cabinet that looks kind of funky, you push it, and it releases. And there you go. Then you have your underneath access for your cabinet as well. And then same thing here. It's a push open drawer. It opens up. 
And then one other thing I want to show you, um, and if you, again, if you're watching the tech tips, um, you should already see it, you should already know about it, and that is going to be the brand new subwoofer. It's a Bluetooth stereo system. There's the subwoofer right there, because the speakers, uh, if you look, and it's the inside and outside speakers. See if you can kind of pick it up a little bit right here. So we have a speaker and a tweeter um, on each side of the bed, and then we also have it outside on the unit. So there you have it, a very quick interior walkthrough of the brand new HQ-17. Hopefully you were able to get a good enough of a look at it. Um, and again, keep watching the tech tip videos because I'm going to be covering each individual area. So that way if I if I didn't really cover something, uh, like say the, the, the stove for instance, for how much you'd like to see it, check the other tech tip. I do a lot more of a talk about it, show it a little bit better. So make sure you're checking out and subscribing. So again, this is Jim Buck, Black Series Camper, Southern California, out of the City of Industry, inside the HQ-17, saying take care, see you out there.